tools. Oh, that looks like we're live. I got to make sure I talk to the camera. I'm trying real hard, guys. I know that's kind of a weakness on my stream. So, hey, everybody. Welcome to another Arcade Adam Ghetto live stream. Because every time we do it, we do it different. Not necessarily bad, just different. <laughs> so I've got uh, this janky setup. We've got the Penzi's Spices laptop stand, official. And then using that webcam, hello, I thought would be nice. And then um, wide shots, so you can see all the goodies that I'll get into in a second. And I have all of my YouTuber hardware, so there's only one way this can go, right? I got my LTT screwdriver, my iFixit kit, my PC Master Race water bottle. Uh, it's on a Gamer's Nexus mod mat. I'm wearing my shirt. I have a Jay's Two Cents something around here. So, uh, I have a shirt of his, I guess, but not on me. So almost the full circle of <laughs> arcade, or sorry, YouTube tech tubers, right? So yeah, we're ready. Are we good to go? Can you guys, I need some audio checks because again, we're doing it for the first time this way because that's how I did it. I don't know. Uh, there should be a, a little bit of music, maybe, and you can hear me. That's what we're going for. The rest is gravy. What do you got? Shadow Gaming says we good. Wolf's in the, in the chat. Luke, what's happening? Uh, we're going to build Mr. Scantron 5,000. No, I think 5K is what he always goes by. I don't think anybody's ever called him Scantron 5,000, now that I think about it. <laughs> anyway... Uh, oh, good. Good to go. Sound. Hey, Larson's in the chat. What's up, buddy? <laughs> now we're good. Oh, metal, please. That is okay. Fair. Fair. We're not monetizing this, so let's just do it right. Um, here we go. You're right. We can't do synth wave when we build Scan's computer. That's stupid. Um, uh, here we go. Let's see. I might need to adjust volume again. You guys, let me know because you can't really listen to metal softly. That's not how that works. There we go. <laughs> Here, let's turn that up a bit. There we go. I nine thirteenth gen. Quibby, yeah, just shoot for the moon, man. Um, so yeah, let's. If I get another thumbs up, that you can still hear me over the very excellent music. Um, I'll go into the specs. Kevin, what's happening? Quimby, Eric, Eric, we got all the people here. Cool. Thanks for coming out, guys. This has uh, been fun hanging out, chatting, building. Uh, somebody give me a thumbs up and they can still hear me and I'll get rolling. What do we got? <clears throat> Let's build this. Hey, Ryan's here too. Can hear me well. All right. So what we're doing. Uh, we're building a brand new Megacade. I'm going to talk to that camera and this camera, that camera and this camera. Uh, brand new Megacade computer for Scan because, holy cow, time flies when you're having fun. He let me know that his machine is six years old somehow. He's rocking an i5. Gosh, is it, it's not even a 10th gen, right, man? I think we should have looked at this. <laughs> it's old. He's rocking, well, the important bit, uh, we upgraded him to 16 gigs of RAM like three years ago. And um, I was remotely helping him and we almost killed his computer because sawdust and RAM slots, that doesn't go together. And it's I know it's an i5, I don't even think it's a 10th gen. I wanna say it's either a seventh or an eighth gen, which is kind of the point of this upgrade is the CPU is showing its age when it comes to PlayStation 3 and more importantly, the new Namco 357 games like uh, Dark Escape 4D, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that, those games need uh, more CPU and multi... Oh, <laughs> oh that's going to be a problem. I've <laughs> it's now a Halloween show. Woo! <laughs> My basement lights are on motion sensors. One minute. <laughs> Let's see if I can fix that real quick. Oh, there we go. But that's going to get annoying. All right. Let's see if... Um... There we go. Okay. Let's... <laughs> if that keeps happening, 
I'm going to have to flip the camera around and go to the other side of the table because the motion, it's hard to tell. You haven't given a tour of my workshop, but um, that side of the workbench is where I normally hang out, and I thought the backdrop of all the tools would look cool. <laughs> so, yeah, Halloween stream, PC build. I mean, it just, it all, the stars align sometimes, right? So, yeah, I've got the top down camera. I hope the light stays on. If not, we'll deal with it. But, yeah, first world problems. <laughs> anyway, where were we? CPU, uh, his machine's old. CPU's tired. Can't do PS3. He's got a GTX 10, or GT 1050. I don't think it's the GTX. Um, 16 gigs of RAM, which is fine. That's, we're going to 32 on this build. So this is a brand new build. We're going with almost bleeding edge uh, 12th gen core i5, which I forget the core count. It's at least eight cores. Oh, that's right. Intel's stupid and doesn't put their core counts on their box. I forget. It's at least eight cores. So we'll go with that. We got a 700 watt power supply. Uh, we got an MSI B660M with Wi-Fi built in so we don't have to right scan. <laughs> and then um, what else we got over here? We have, oh, 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 oh let's see. <laughs> look, hot off the press. Look what, I, look what I got in the mail here. Omega X. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's real. <laughs> and it's much improved. And nobody's seen nothing yet. No, it's going to be delicious. So uh, beta testing that. What else we got? Oh, how could I forget? Um, maybe we're overcompensating now. But um, <laughs> the... I couldn't let my man down on the GPU side if I can unbox hardware because I don't know if this is a better angle. I'll be Vanna White. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Big boy GPU because uh, one when one fan isn't enough, three is, is better, right? Uh, we got ourselves a good old-fashioned eight pin, uh, not high power power connector because this is a 3000 series because NVIDIA you did dumb on the 4000 series. So this is a monster 3060 Ti, not 8 gig, 12 gig VRAM. Huge. So we got three fans, monster heat sinks. Let's see if I can get here. That, there, that's got the better lighting on that camera. This webcam on my laptop sucks. And it looks like there's some sort of black monster over my shirt. What is that? That's a that's a monitor. Why does it look like it's some sort of 3D? Anyway, whatever. <laughs> we got a monster video card. 12 gigs of VRAM is what I was trying to say. 3060 Ti, overclocked, Asus, tough gaming, before they started doing dumb things. Um, this is going to be extra crispy. I still have some of the uh, peel to take off as well. Now, the fun part is, according to paper, this is 301 millimeters long. The case we spec'd out says the maximum video card length you can put in is 305 millimeters long. <laughs> so, China, you better be right. <laughs> okay, let's uh, stop talking and do stuff. I need to get a knife and um, open up this case box. Oh, wait, the music stopped. Hold on. <clears throat> no, it's not a Voodoo 3 3D FX. Uh, uh, Scan, you got playlists, right? Uh, there's got to be a thing. I thought that would just start doing it by itself. What? Okay. I'm sorry. I usually, I don't have Spotify on this machine, so I'm doing YouTube music. And there it is. Don't Google as they sleep playlist because you get ASMR stuff. <laughs> SEO scan. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, it seems a little loud. Let's turn that down to scotch. There we go. All right. Now, <laughs> let's catch up with chat. Halloween mode. Yes. Voodoo 3 3000. So, no. Uh, 3D effects would be cool, but it wouldn't run anything. So, we can emulate a 3D effects on it. I want to check out that new emulator, the PCMU. You guys know what I'm talking about? There's a new emulator that emulates like a Windows 98 computer, and it has full 3D effects library support for all the cool stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, um, what's Scan saying? The more fan. Oh, yeah, I didn't even talk about it. We got a whole box of RGB fans over there. Your memory's RGB. 
Um, I forgot what else. There's damn it. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have to like. Oh, there we go. That's what I get for putting in power save lights. This <laughs> it. It's just is what it is. My wife did say she was going to come down and hang out a little later. Maybe we can pay her to stand on that side of the table. <laughs> anyway, let's get going. Let's uh, set this up. Can you guys... Is this... Oh, yeah. You guys can see. I don't need to move. I got so many camera angles. can't hide from you guys. <clears throat> Ooh. Interesting. So... Can I do this? That's what I didn't want to do. Oh, yeah, here we go. Do some more Vanna White. Check it out. RGB Corsair 32 GBs, right? That's what I ordered, didn't I? Yeah, 32 DDR4 3600. That's what I meant to order. <laughs> you never know when the Amazon elves uh, take it upon themselves. Yeah, let's move some of this so we don't knock over anything. Oh. Uh, yep, yep, yep. We can build the motherboard anyway while we're <sighs> got that out. CPU unboxing. Interesting. No seal at all on the motherboard? That's weird. Brand new, but the outside of the box didn't even have any tape on it. Oh, and Scan, I got you um, just just for good luck. I don't I was gonna talk about this later in the build. Here, let me take it out of the bag. Um Dude, I just got to unbox the case. I know how to build a damn computer. Come on. You're killing me. Anyway, um, I'm, everybody's motherboard usually has extra USB ports, so I got you one of these PCI brackets that just plugs in. So you'll have two or three on the case, six or eight in the back, plus two more. So if you run out of USB, you, you did it wrong. <laughs> All right, let's wave at the infrared. I'll try to remember to wave at the camera every now and then. <clears throat> All right, the interesting part. Let's see what kind of accessories we got. Got some screws. Got some... Up, in this day and age, we're still sending out driver CDs. Yeah, because that's useful. You know, what the hell is this? Oh, a case badge. Nobody wants that. Uh, this is what we need, though. Two SATA cables. I got plenty more. IO shield, Wi-Fi antennae. Uh, more screws. Quick installation guide. Oh, I'm glad we got that. Okay. Anti-static bag. Touch something metal. Because even though Linus Tech Tip doesn't believe in electrostatic discharge, I do. <laughs> Ooh, this motherboard. That's got some nice heat sinks on it, man. Look at that. These, these are That's metal. That's chunk. For this, uh, for this class of mobile, heck yeah. Oh, and also, Scan, if we ever do go this route, you've got full NVMe, super duper, you know, PlayStation 5-esque SSD support without getting technical. Right there. <clears throat> uh, let's uh, put some CPU in first. So yeah, Core i5, 2600K, if I didn't get that out of my mouth last time. And it's 125 watt TDP. And the, uh, I went with a deep cool RGB tower cooler. And I believe the TDP on this is over 200 watts. Because that's how you're supposed to do it without throwing too much shade. Um, where is it? Maybe they, are, why, what's with people not putting stats on boxes anymore? You can't even, how are you supposed to shop for a CPU cooler when you don't know the rated amount of heat it can deal with? What, how, how are our kids going to do anything? I don't, I don't get this. This is ridiculous. But anyway, when I researched it, I'm pretty sure it was 200 or 200 and something TDP. We got, we got everything else. We got dimension, speed, airflow, noise, connector, voltage for the fan, wattage for the fan, LED types. How much CPU power can it disperse? Nobody knows, but we'll find out. <clears throat> hey, 
Kevin, what's happening? We got any uh, stragglers in here? Sean, if I didn't say hi earlier. Oh, yeah, unlocked KCPU. We can definitely overclock. I don't think we'll need to. Scan, maybe in three years, if your stuff starts to struggle, remember that you can overclock because I'm not going to do it out of the box. We're going to set XMP profile, and that's the uh, all the overclocking we're going to do. And then uh, <clears throat> that'll be that. Just buy the coolest looking box. Yeah, that's, that's sound advice there, uh, Andy. But, you know, that, that, that method doesn't always work. Uh, let's see here. We need to find the golden triangle and line up the nernies. And that's going to be reversed. It's going to be smiling at me. <clears throat> yeah. And then also, pro tip, this plastic thing in here, you usually leave that in. Oh, cool. We got the satisfying pop. That's what I was going to say. You leave this on because the pins in the socket are very fragile and we don't uh, want to disturb them. And also, Scan, where did your motherboard box go? Oh, there it is. You want to keep this because in case there's drama and you got to RMA the motherboard, <clears throat> they expect this pre-installed. Otherwise, no soup for you. So we'll keep that with the other stuff. Uh, there we go. So now let's check out my CPU cooler. Oh, man, this thing's chonk. That's another thing I got to, it said it was uh, short enough to fit in that case. So hopefully China is not lying. <laughs> Remove before flight. <laughs> Love it. Remove before installation. So where is our, I don't even remember what socket that technically is. Is that 1700? Usually these... Um, Brackets are like, this is the Intel one. This is the AMD one. Forget math. <laughs> yep, I think that's what we got here. There's our deep pool thermal compound. Intel bracket. Do we have a back plate? <clears throat> it's the night show. <laughs> I'm going to keep kicking this stuff, too. It's going to be really funny, like, the fourth time I have to do that, and I, like, trip over something and fall. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so, yeah, we got the uh, back plate, and then this buddy goes here somehow. Don't make me read the instructions. That's my litmus test. I don't want to read the instructions. Oh, yeah, these things slide a scotch or something. Intel. I'm guessing that goes up. Far off, are we? Not very. Don't do it. Don't make me get the instructions. It's got to just... Okay. Oh! <laughs> there we go. They, they, um, the little standoff thing is pop. So, hopefully I had to do all four of them. Intel up. Hey, can I just get to get close to it? Yeah! Oh, we're cooking with gas. <clears throat> oh, of course it falls out. There we go. Now, this must go on top? That's wild. I don't like that. Does it go this way? I've got stuff in the way. I've got caps in the way. Is that how we do That can't be how that goes. Don't make me read. Damn it. <laughs> That's definitely not going to work, though, because um, I don't know if you guys can see this from top down. Oh, here. Yeah. <clears throat> Overclock is sleeping past an alarm clock. No, we don't bend the pins. Pins are already safe. Now we just don't want to break stuff with the heat sink. There we go. I'm going to move this so you guys can <clears throat> see the issue I'm having. Save those things. All right, here's the manual. I'm not going to open it yet. Not giving up yet. But um, this brackety deal that has weird bends in it is hitting the capacitors. There's got to be a way to, because this thing, 
you've got the screws on there and that lines up with that but oh i see there's standoffs in here mm. really that's a weird way to mount a heat sink deep cool so that's threaded really i'm guessing the two colors are amd and intel Man, don't make me read. Uh, I don't know which spacer is which. You son of a... <sighs> the electronic version of Rachel Ray. That's awesome. Okay. We've got spacers E, F, and G. Take your bets amongst yourselves which ones are the right ones. Intel, you use the E spacers and the H screws. How the hell do you know it's H? Oh, the shorter ones. So you use the little guy spacers and the small screws for like, that's LGA 1150, oh, LGA 1200. And then LGA 1700, you use the F, and I'm pretty sure this is 1700. Hold on. I didn't commit the socket. The Intel's been switching sockets like it's friggin' underwear. Pretty sure LGA 1700 is 12 series. Yep. I'm gonna listen to myself. Okay, so that's the medium. LGA 1700 is F spacers and H screws oh boy how do we figure out which is which f spacers are the ones with the we marked a hundred damn it this is the stuff that slows you down for no reason we should make this easier i'm pretty sure god damn it <laughs> Come on. Okay, good. <laughs> Somebody just start a timer. How long does that take? <laughs> okay, yeah. So, uh, Kim Sama, thank you. The, it's safety first. I have my big, long power strip here. It is on. It's charging my laptop. And the you, maybe you just saw I my motion lights are going on and off because I'm standing on the wrong side of the workbench. But we're figuring out. I'm pretty sure it's H because it's the longer screws. What? Damn this thing. Deep cool. You failed me for the last time. I like their water cooling stuff, but this is just stupid. I'm gonna see this. Like, look, like how the hell are you supposed to figure out which is which from that? I'm pretty sure it's these though. We're gonna go for it. Not the smooth ones. And then they want you to put spacers on. Oh, there they are. There's the one. There we go. It says 1700. God damn it, Adam. Just read. <laughs> there we go. That makes sense because now the uh, bracket won't careen into the capacitors, which is optimal. All right, when I can't find the power supply, remind me that I put it down there. Yeah, that's much gooder. It doesn't uh, hit the capacitors anymore. Cool. Um, now it's LTT screwdriver time, if I can find it. There it is. Deep cool, your instructions suck. And um, <clears throat> if you guys are here for educational purposes, I'm building a computer. Whenever you're tightening stuff down around the CPU, it's the same as putting a wheel on a car. You want to do cross pattern. Try to put it down as even as possible. Don't wrench down one corner and then do the next. And you can see this is still wibbly bimbly. I like to get a loose fit and then go back around. Larson. <laughs> what we got in this comment section here? 
set up an oscillating fan in front of the lights. Yeah, I guess, you know, it's about that time here. Wavy, wavy. <laughs> oh, cross pattern. Oop, that's already a little tight. How about this guy? Come on. Oh, the ratchet on the LTT screwdriver. Unprecedented. Oh, there, yep, there we go. Got you. Oh, so you just keep doing cross. That's good. That's good. Oh, need to over type. That just leads to badness and crying. Okay. That's cool. Let's get some goop on it. Thermal paste. With the um, 12 series and 13 series, it has a pretty big um, heat spreader. I like to do the X pattern. There we go. And, you know, especially since Scan likes to live in, you know, the armpit of the uh, Americas in terms of weather, uh, it needs all the help it can get. <laughs> all right, remove before. Fl oh, that's just a sticker. That's weird. Oh, check it out, guys. It is a legit cooler. Copper. You know when you've got a lathed, lapped, nice flat finish, you're doing it right. All right, so we want our RGB facing the RAM. We'll have a case fan behind it. Probably want our wires going north. And here we go. I'm going to check our squish. Oh, I think I'm going to have to take this fan off to get at that screw. Check the squish. Always check. Oh, yeah, that's a good squish. Always check your squish on your thermal paste. And again, same rule applies. We only got two screws, but just try to go it out as evenly as possible. All right, Larson? Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Maybe I should go to the other side of the table. I just don't feel like moving the cameras. Nope, for next stream. I don't have an oscillating fan now that I think about it. Oh, wait, I do. But it's one of those tower ones. I don't know if it would set it off, Ryan. Flux capacitor. Ruben, what's happening, buddy? Building scan a new computer. Put inside the Mega King. Oh, yeah. That's getting toit. Love it. When you pick up the whole thing by the heat sink, you know you've done it right. Fit. Oh man, look at this. Black on black on silver. I mean, if we didn't go RGB, we'd have a pretty sick kind of blacked out build going here. <clears throat> What's up? It'll work. Sensor is every, oh, thank you. Every five minutes. Should start a timer. <laughs> That's, it's a reminder to drink water, right? PC Master Race, LTTStore.com water bottle. May your frame rates be high and your temperatures low. <laughs> All right, let's get this fan back on. I'm not a fan of <laughs> fan. I'm not a fan of these fan clips, but they do work, and they're um, got some nice rubber. On the other side of this fan, so it won't make a bunch of noise. There we go. And we got, oh, four pin? Man, we fancy can scan. This is going to be a good build. Get rid of this stupid warning tag or whatever the hell this is. CPU fan header. Start the cable management now. 
And then uh, we're going to send this RGB. Yep, we got a mail end. So I'm pretty sure the fans I bought have a RGB fan or a RGB controller, I should say. Because I want to say I looked at this motherboard and surprisingly beat for an MSI, it didn't have any ARGB headers. It's like the one. Oh, never mind. It does. <laughs> so we can control RGB via the motherboard or the controller. We'll see how we're feeling when we get there. <laughs> Thanks, man. I like the shirt, too. <laughs> Hit up my store. I think there's links on the thing. At least there should be if YouTube didn't do anything dumb. There we go. Uh, memory. Let's do that. RGB. And then... Oh, cool. This You know you got a fancy new motherboard when you have the ones where they don't have the little clippies that open up. It's like the new trend. I don't know why. It must be cheaper. It doesn't move. That's probably it. It's a half a cent less expensive. Vengeance Pro. Oh, I didn't know I got Pro. Whoa. It's, this is a big boy memory. Vengeance Pro scan. <laughs> this should have a really nice XMP profile on it. Um, do you know AMD? What's with modern motherboards and not labeling the damn memory slots? But we're just going to go with what I'm pretty sure it is. When in doubt, go with experience, right? Because no one reads the manual. Okay, we're all set. Now it's truly case time. Let's get rid of all that garbage. Read the build. Don't forget the learnings. And wave at the infrared. Take a sip. Hey, D. Thomas is in the house too. What's up, buddy? It's like an EHA reunion up in here. Damn, when's the last time? <laughs> Welcome to the Scan PC build. Now we get to find out the fun part. Do our components physically fit in this middle sized case? And we're keeping this box because I'm planning on shipping it to Mr. Scan back in that box. Oh, sick. It arrived nice and clean on the foam. I wish they used the, uh, the black squishy foam, but next best thing is hard foam that's not broken. Well, that's cool. We got a bag. And then I purposely, Scan and I talked about this, I purposely went... Uh, acrylic side panel because everything these days is damned tempered glass and like 50 50 it seems to break in shipping so this is a uh, thermal take right Zalman sorry Zalman T7 you've got magnetic dust filters and you know whales vacuum your filters right take the filter off and then vacuum it <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You're never going to lift that one down. <laughs> but we got the uh, tempered, or not te non tempered uh, acrylic panel. And there are thumb screws on this. You know, I'm trying to man and wipe this thing. Are they captive? How nice is this case? Not captive, so scan, check that out. Let me open this thing up. And what is that saying? Remove, oh, for installation, sick, and then I think that, yeah, it just slides right off, you gotta love it, you love to see it, when stuff makes sense, because these days, it's not a given, got some bag of goodies in here, oh cool, they actually give you PCI slot covers, because in this class of case, it's usually the, um, the one-time use slot covers, once you bust these out, they don't go back in. They don't have screws on them. So that's really cool that they give you an extra one in case you accidentally your giant video card. Uh, up top, we've got two USB 2, one USB 3, 
Uh, I thought there was a C. Maybe not. Giant power button, reset button. Uh, scan since we'll probably never use the reset button, I might wire that into the RGB controller. So that's where you change your colors if it supports that. We'll do that. And then what do we got internally? We got our USB 3 header, power LED, power switch. Front panel audio, I don't know if I'll hook well, Yeah, I'll hook that up just in case you need it, but that's where that is up there. The basement. Got another fan uh, dust filter on the bottom. Who's better than you? Um, really weird built-in fan configuration. We've got one intake up front and then one in the back. That's strange. And it's a three pin. Huh. Weird. Well, let's see here. Oh, let's wave at the thing. <laughs> and then catch up on comments. Oh, yeah, I, I got sawdust. Uh, I set some aside. I'll put a sprinkle, just salt bay, some sawdust in there. <clears throat> Throw the Dantron coin in there. Um, I think I got one. Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> so... That's going to be awesome. So let's see. Does the front panel... That's got to come... Oh, wait. What am I doing? Moment of truth. You guys see this? Here we go. Oh, oh that's the wrong way. But we're just going to... Can we... Oh, 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 oh there's... that's going to be toit with a fan in there. All you have is a hobbit hands with... Damn, I measured that, and it's not the right, oh, sick, okay, fitment issue number one, no problemo, fitment issue number two, ooh, that's a heavy heat sink, I'm liking it, heat sink height, oh gosh, that's close again too, <laughs> what's happening, <laughs> no problem. All right, guys, we don't have any major oopsies yet. I'm sure I'll find something, but I didn't create them myself yet. I'm sure something in here is going to jump up and bite me, but not yet. Oh, sick. I, I like these. These RGB fans have, like, a whole stack of these adhesive rubber things, so you can make things shut up. Uh, here's our fan controller slash RGB controller, and then... Six pack of RGB fans. Let's see if we can figure out how to get the front panel out and get at that. It's got a, is that just a rip and grip? Oh, maybe. Ugh. All right, fine. You win. We'll take the other side panel off and investigate. It's not a captive screw that's just stuck. There we go. Oh, damn. We're, we're fancy back here. We got a cable channel. We got SSD trays. We got a power supply basement. We got a hard drive cage. Wow. That's... Oh, and then we followed up with the front fan is a four-pin Molex. You guys... That's just, we, this is like 20, not even, this is like 1997, and the rest of this is 2022. Like, what? Oh, China. Okay, how do I get the front panel off? Well, it might just be a pull harder. Right? Is it? I can't tell. you got to be careful with the, these kinds of cases, with uh, figuring out how the front panel comes off. All right, I don't want to blind myself while I'm trying to do this. Nope. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Yep, pull harder. That was the answer. Okay. Oops. Uh, screwdriver. Let's get the terrible fan out of there. 
Scan, unless you want this thing, I'm going to throw it away. Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't dance with four pin Molex fans. Ponderosa. <laughs> I think we're going to, well, whatever. We'll file that in the extra fans bin. Yeah, buddy. Uh, oh, okay. So, yeah, we got to use the controller because these are proprietary... Uh, fan headers, and then we got to also figure out airflow if it tells me, and then we also got to figure out, um, yeah, we're going this way, right? Let me see. Does this have a direction? I always get that confused. For some reason, I can't speak fan. Nope, that didn't happen. Well, this one did. I always forget. Okay, yep, so crosshatch pulls through. So we want three fans intake, one exhaust. That'll give us positive pressure and reduce dust. That's how that works. At least that's how I was told. That's how Dad did it, and that's how we're doing it tonight. Poor Chop Messiah, what's happening? Welcome to the Scan Mega K PC build stream, where we're going to be installing rubber feet <laughs> on our RGB fans for a second. Here. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, Wolf? More fans than the one fan I have when I take... Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? I just I couldn't English for some reason. All right, we're going to send the wire to the back side of the case. Up over and in. Always be thinking about your wire management. Because if you don't, no one else will. What am I hitting here? Is this just a power through? Doesn't feel right. What am I hitting? Don't don't force it, guys. You got to be gentle sometimes. Because if you force it, then bad things ha can happen. It came out of there. Why don't you go back in? How else are you supposed to get that thing in there? Wait, did I? These are the right size, aren't they? Yeah, 120s. Why'd the music stop? Don't tell me. Somebody make an As They Sleep playlist with like four songs. What the hell is that? <sighs> Gotta do everything yourself these days, I swear. All right, that's not working. How about this? Oh, there we go. The wire was, see, that's why you don't force it, because that wire was getting pinchied. All right, much gooder. Let's get these screws back in here. Uh, what's the vote? Are we going back to Asley Sleep or Synthwaite? Well, it scans stream, so he's got to tell us, right? We do more. Oh, it's buffering. What the hell? YouTube. Am I still streaming? Yeah, green lights. Mark's probably watching too much Netflix or something. Come on. How am I? There. Oh, there. yep. Life. There we go. Whatever. Browsers, right?
Oh, I'm gonna turn the comments back on. <laughs> that's a reach around. That's right. That's right, Ruben. You get good at that when you work in IT. You can't go up, over, or through. You reach around. <laughs> All right, all right. One fan down, three to go. This guy, rubber. <clears throat> Be done by now if these little footies are installed for me. You know what? I just thought of. I didn't set up a monitor so you guys can see this thing boot. But I might be able to, I don't know if I have anything connected to that monitor behind me. We'll see if we can jury rig something, but at least we'll be able to see if it posts, if it turns on and if it doesn't turn off and all that stuff. I've always been thinking about getting one of those portable, ah, <laughs> they caught me. <laughs> I've been thinking about getting one of those uh, portable monitors for stuff like this so I can uh, test builds without having to rig something up. Yeah, let me move this so you guys get a better view. I've got stuff everywhere. Fans. There we go. Is that better? Yeah, there we go. Center. Taking off the wire. <laughs> Scan is what do you mean no value whatsoever? You gotta tell me if I'm doing it right. You gotta you gotta fact check me and, and tell me if you want your fans orientated a certain way or something. You know, be be that be the client, right? <laughs> There's real estate humor in there somewhere, right? Be the picky client. Tell me you want me to build it upside down or something. Uh, Steve, you might want to PM him about that because I think he talked about uh, posting that up at some point, right, Scan? I don't think you're keeping it. Anybody want the, the official Scantron magic machine? Like, this is a big deal. This is I, – I contemplated accepting this job because the current Scantron magic machine is big, big, big shoes to fill. Like, it – it works better than I could figure out ever how to make it work, and I don't know why. <laughs> Go. Yeah, buddy. Get some nernies on this thing. Rubber sheets, toast. Another one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. full magic machine with configs. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Boy, you better put that on eBay. It's gonna it's call Barrett Jackson. I'm sure that'll <laughs> go for a pretty penny. Put that on auction, man. Whew. The juju alone has got to be worth, what, quarter mil? Much less the hardware. <laughs> oh. Imagine that. You could you could title that, only arcade machine where aim tracks work consistently in all systems. Because I'm convinced you're the only one. <laughs> Yeah, and two player, two player Amtrak working consistently in all systems. That that alone, that statement alone's got to be worth ten grand. <laughs> yeah, Larson, seriously. <laughs> it still boggles my mind how you're just like, what do you mean, two players Amtrak 
No problem. It just fires up any damn thing. <laughs> There we go. It gave us a few extra case fan screws, and I like it. There's like 10 packets. <laughs> just, the guy in the assembly line is probably just like, eh. <laughs> uh, this one. this i like this song scan oh sorry it's not you it's a mixed playlist <laughs> god damn it <laughs> you guys like counting it down we betting if i'm gonna <laughs> wave my hand in front of the stupid light All set here. Got distracted. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. Okay. Fan, fan, fan. Oh, let's take the wire management off of here for now. Fan, fan, fan. One more to go. And while I'm thinking about it. Let's get the razor blade IO shield out of the way. Um, guys, I don't think I talked about it in the beginning, but um, this is definitely a mid-spec, I would say. Actually, for me, honestly, if you're trying to play every arcade game, you know, on the Megacade reliably, this is about as low as I would go. Because honestly, Scan's machine is fine this is like i said we're just after a bunch of uh cpu horsepower and then while we were at it we got the badass video card and doubled the ram so it's going to be good for him for at least another fiber um like for, you know his current build lasted him six years i don't imagine this thing would either uh, not do that either but um that being said this is about a thousand dollar build uh ish and for me that's that's as low as i would go for an arcade you that being said Honestly, you could definitely do it way cheaper, like a third of that cheaper. Um, you can go with a Dell Optiplex for $100-ish, and you can put a GT1050 in it, but he'd just be back exactly where he is right now, and he's just wanting, um, rightfully so, more performance for more of the modern stuff. So, you know, arcade, that's the cool thing about the hobby is you can get into it really cheap. Like, you can build your computer... If you're willing to buy used components uh, secondhand, you can definitely build a computer capable of what everything the scans the current machine can do for like 200 to 300. Uh, and then, obviously, if you want to have it nicer than that, you, the sky's the limit. <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah, scan, you should sign it. That would be sick. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. These songs are... Uh, let's see. I'm, sorry, I'm catching up on comments. Up for grabs. I don't have enough space for the cabinet, but... Oh, okay. Yeah, Steve, you could always just grab his rig and toss it in your TV because it would be an awesome couch setup. Um, you know, because, again, Scan's machine, the only thing that would throw a monkey wrench in his plans were batteries in his Xbox controllers, but other than that, every time. <laughs> No problem. I keep setting this thing down and forgetting to take the last screw out. There we go. Got one last RGB fan. I still don't understand how they're going to give you a three-pin fan and a Molex fan, and they look like identical. 
even oh no k11 zero and k11 one so the, the model's different but it's, it's just why this probably cost you more money to do two different fans idiots china i mean if you're gonna do bad put two bad fans in it who cares <laughs> Uh, RGB fan with the nerds. No way, Larson. This is you got the Zalman T7 on your gaming PC? Really? I was just trying to find something that would fit in the Mega Cade really nice ship really nice and have also enough room for really nice giant video cards and components and also i think i'm going to ship him his omega x drives pre-installed and then we're going to run sata cables out the back and just for shipping purposes <clears throat> so the drives are nice and safe yeah okay we'll see anyway we'll look at that when we mount the drives Yeah, Larson, uh, no no qualms or issues with this build so far. I actually just found my first thing. I, I kind of don't like the fact that it doesn't have a dedicated uh, hole for the um, PCI. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Where's your wife when you need her so she can just stand there and make the light not turn off? Ah. <laughs> uh. Anyway, <laughs> what I was saying is there's not a dedicated hole for the 8 pin, so it's going to be – that's slightly more fun to build in. That's what these – you know, the cheaper cases, they're all the same thing. It's all just going to hold your components. The, the big difference is that with the bigger and uh, fancier cases, obviously aesthetics, and then your pain and suffering when it comes to building in it. And if you bought it built, cheap cases are the way to go because you ain't, you ain't messing with it. <laughs> And if you're upgrading in it, you're probably not dancing around in it as much as you would anyway, so play through. There you go. Okay, four RGB fans. Three in, one out. Positive pressure. Got the motherboard backplate in. Uh, how much am I going to regret not putting the power? No, because the power supply should just yo right in there, irregardless of motherboard. So we're going to put the motherboard in right now. Where am I squishing? That doesn't feel good. Oh, yeah. Computers. All right. Rubber, rubber. Oh, sorry, scan. I almost messed up. I'm like, why is there one rubber footy left on here? Well, because I'm an idiot and I didn't put it on there. And we gotta fix that because I don't want to give you a, a build that sounds like a lopsided clothes washer set to spin. That's just, that's Wolf's build. <laughs> that's Vpin. Can I get cute and put that? Nope. That might do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, the nope, there's a lip there. Try to do it right. Take her all the way out. There we go. Why didn't somebody tell me I forgot a case, a case fan footy? There we go. Give us a chance to mount it a little higher. There we go.
catch up on these comments. I had to step away, going to see this thing boot. Yeah, well, of course, Brian, come on. We're like well over halfway there, aren't we? I'm taking my sweet time. I'm not like rushing things. We want to do this right. We don't want to do it fast unless you guys got places to be or something. All I heard was burr. <laughs> There we go. All right, now fans are complete. I got all their rubber footies. I'm gonna undo cable management for now. I'm gonna probably run this one under the motherboard. Uh, up here. That's gonna be loud. And then do we have all of our standoffs? One, two, three, four. I think we're gonna need these two. Let's check the fitment. Oh, you guys seeing this okay? Yeah. So IO shield in the back. Pretty sure we're gonna need. Yep, we're gonna need those screws. We're gonna move them real quick. Oh, that's a heavy beast. Uh, did they give me? No, they wouldn't give me a standoff screw wrench, would they? You guys aren't that fancy. Wait, is that the right size? Can I do this? Nope. <laughs> OPT got one? Oh, come on, Linus. You ain't got no standoff wrench socket. Do you? Damn it. <laughs> oh, see, there I go. Knock something over. <clears throat> uh, needle nose. Oh, this will do. A little overkill for our. Oh, there we go. I got these. We got our angled needle nose. Ooh, somebody wrenched that in there. There we go. Hey, those things are in there. It's going to be the top hole. And then we're going to need two more standoffs. I think this is a wider motherboard than they intended in here. Is that Z for Zalman? Uh, Larson, where did you get your PC? It was, it was pre-built, right? You didn't build it, did you? I don't see a mon... Ryan, we'll, baby steps. We'll do... We'll do... <laughs> start to start throwing those tools behind you at the switch. Oh, no, the switch is over there. It's actually... In front of me, like I'm wave, uh, wave at it right now, just for fun. Uh, let me test one more time. Yeah, we need oh, this one. Yep, so we need that one. Oh, I was wrong. We need to lower this one, and then we need the, that one. Oh man. And they gave me more standoffs, right? Yep, they did. Cam, do you want your motherboard to make noise? I've got a PC speaker in here. Yeah, we should put that on just in case you have memory upgrades and we do postcodes. I'll throw the, this is a little speaker they put on motherboards like this. 
So when you put your uh, sawdust in your memory slots and it doesn't boot, it'll start beeping. <laughs> and then you can tell me the beeps and I'll tell you that you put sawdust in your memory slots. It'll be great. Sounds like a party. Two more. Let's order out this set. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, much better. Oh, I got the fans in. I should do a fit check. Actually, no, we'll save it. We'll save the surprise for the end that scans video cards too big for his case. It'll be great. That'll be a great way to end the stream. <laughs> oh, and Scan, you mentioned streaming with this thing. I got you the full fat K processor because it has video uh, output built into the processor itself. So that helps with video uh, decoding and encoding. It's called NVENC on Intel. Or no, that's NVIDIA's. Um, and Intel's got the H.264 and H.265 um, hardware. Anyway, nerdy stuff. Point being, if you have video card problems, your motherboard has HDMI and DisplayPort output, so we can troubleshoot with these. But otherwise, you should never use these intentionally. Like, don't put the marquee in here. Don't put your secondary display in here. Always go through your video card. <clears throat> Oh, that's so close. Oh. oh my god, that power... Is that even possible to plug that thing in? I might want to plug the thing in now while I can move the motherboard around. Remember when I said, am I going to pay for not putting the power supply in? Oh, holy hell. How are you supposed to get a DPS power cable up there? <sighs> Damn it, Zalman. Uh, also, now that I got the motherboard in, I'm just going to sanity check the height of that CPU cooler because it's damn close. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, we got room to spare. No problem. Good. On that part. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to... If I don't route the power supply cables, it's going to be bad. Let's get this out one last time, hopefully. Power supply. Tra tra hey, Travis, what's happening, man? It's been a minute. I love the uh, reunion that's happening in the stream tonight. It's great. It's like an old school Zoom call. We should just start a Zoom call. Or that might have been... Even more chaos, right? Oh, yeah. Wave at the light. <laughs> so this is uh, EVGA. May they rest in peace. It sounds like the company is not going to make it much longer. There's a lot of nerdy drama there if you want to get into it. But yada, yada, yada. They used to make awesome video cards, and NVIDIA screwed them. And they exited the market. Well, NVIDIA really screwed the whole industry. but um, And they also make kick-ass power supplies. I believe this is an 80 plus gold, yep, rated 700 watt power supply. So name brand and 80 plus gold equals no explodey, probably. It's usually how that goes. Now, if you're like me and your EHA machine from the factory came with an arse game, you should put it on a UPS. <laughs> Well, I will say the Arts game held up very well while I had it in my machine. I run a C-Sonic personally right now. But the, uh, the Arts game got it done for about a year or so. Went through a little torture test. Survived a flood. 
it survived me crossing the streams, but I, I can I contest that there was um, less than ideal wiring happening, uh, and I was confused. Is this thing fully modular too? No, it's not that fancy, is it? Nope. But we don't need modular where we're going. We got a power supply basement. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Nothing like fresh power supply. Uh, I might need to. One of these is going to be your warranty. If the company survives, Scan, you'll want to keep that. Where's that CPU cover? There we go. Oh no! Did I ruin my overhead shot? Nope, good. It's bagged up on the cable. Oh, sick. Nice Velcro. Uh, oh, and also scan, this is one of those power supplies that has like the quiet fan mode. I am going to leave it off so it's going to be louder by default. I just want to make sure it's moving enough air since it's going inside of a uh, cabinet. So it's like a case in a case kind of thing. <laughs> Larson, I'm not smart. I'm just well seasoned been building these things for a minute uh golden team night oh yeah you know what you're doing yeah onboard video yep i'm sorry i assumed see i always assume i just want to make sure you guys are aware scan knows he knows way more than he lets on trust me it's caught me many times not just right there <laughs> okay power spot uh we're gonna intake that's the perfect. Oh, we got we can we can choose. So again, PC building advice: fan can intake from the bottom. If your case is sitting on carpet, don't do that. Uh, or in this case, there's also perforations into the uh, motherboard area, so you can flip it over. Uh, but I think we're going to intake from the bottom because it's not going to sit on carpet. Oh. What song is this? I like this. This is Scan. I can tell. Black in the Sun. Wait, wait, wait. What song is this? Isn't this Sweet, Sweet Misery? I knew it. Yep. This is my favorite song. Sorry, I don't have your, the names of your songs memorized, but I know what I like. When are you guys going to get back in the studio, man? <laughs> Giggly. <laughs> Larson, I'm glad you're here, man. You make the streams better. Oh, they got extra case screws and stuff. Fancy. This is nice. I can see why you like this thing. For a mid-tier case, they've got a lot of nice little, you didn't have to do that, nice type features. <laughs> There we go. Black on black. God damn it. <laughs> this is like worse than Spectrum going out. No, Spectrum, it's worse than Spectrum going out. Never mind. I'll take that back. Okay, power supply and routing. This motherboard cable's going to suck. Mm, good song, man. You guys got to do a Sweet Misery Reimagine 2023. Like falling in reverse, you know, they're getting away with all sorts of taking old songs and making them new again, right? Oh, boy, look at all the power we got here. Where's my CPU? There it is. CPU power. Um, yep, that, 
Mm. It's got, oh man, we can put all, all the, you can run multiple video cards in here. Yes. Dude. This, this, this shit hits. Oh, I just wish it was coming out of better speakers. Hollow. Okay. Check out how, just during, I think I have to, Check out Hollow. Hollow is one of scan songs, I'm assuming, right? Take a sip. Wave at the nip. This is going to be fun. So I got to, there we go. I can do that. I'm going to contend with that CPU power. I'm going to plug this fucker in right now. Oh, it's even backwards? You bastards. This would suck if you were a first time builder. Yeah, get that taken care of. Don't forget the nerdies. There we go. You know it's in when you feel it click, right, Larson? Oh, wait. <laughs> all right, we got all of our holes lined up. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Even the top one. Cool. Now, you, you always did say that. Sweet Misery was ever, you know, that probably got the bras on stage, right, Scan? I imagine that was the one. So when you guys made a set, where was that in the set list? Was that towards the end or in the middle, the beginning? I'm, I'm like music live performance illiterate. I've only been to a handful of concerts myself. Never forget, um, my buddy Chris talked me into going to Corn in high school. That was that was eye opening. Who <laughs> a puddle of mud opened for them, and I think Stained opened for them. Uh, they were in Madison, if I remember correctly. That was a wild show. The pit. My buddy went in the pit. I didn't go in the pit. I was just like a deer in headlights at that place. Holy crap! It was a sick lineup. I forget there was another good like B band that opened for them. It was a bunch of uh, you know bands I'd never heard of, but then I went home and like found out all about them. <laughs> and Puddle of Mud was like a big deal to me in college after that. Because it was like the summer between high school and college, I want to say. Oh, I'm sick, Scan. Really? You're working on new music right now? That's awesome. So are you in, like, um, Pro Tools or uh, something else? Or what do, you, what do you even use? Or are you just writing? How the hell am I going to get in there? I don't even think the blessed LTT screwdriver is going to get in there. Oh, look at that. No way. First try. Holy cow. Wow. That's a hell of an angle. Damn, Linus, you know how to make a screwdriver. That, I would never have thought. Whew. All right, boys, we're in, we're in close here. Let's get this cable managed. It would be sick if I get routed with the EPS cable. How does that look? Oh, Scan, you've got four SATA ports on this guy. Um, and an open PCI slot by 16 and by 1, so we can expand. If you need more SATA ports... Um, because now Omega X is going to be uh, SSD 16, 16, 16. So you're going to you're going to use all four SATAs if you make those internal, or you put the expansion uh, external on USB. So however you want to slice that banana, we got options. There we go. This will be some David Blaine bullshit if I get this cable back here after the fact.
Yeah, man, I can't wait either, uh, Andy. That's it's going to be pretty cool to uh, witness how that comes out, evolves. Hopefully, we get a little bit of a little taste behind the scenes. Should be sick. I don't know how that works with studio time and recording industry and studios and rules and stuff like that, but you know, still be sick. I did it! Look, we got fan cables coming out the back. Somehow that happened. It pays to have hobbit hands sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. No problem. Let's get that back there. No slack. It's like a surgeon. You go in, you can't see what you're doing. Hide that cable. You can't see the line, can you, Russ? Or in this case, the... Uh... <laughs> Mr. Light Switch, you're killing me. Hopefully that's a running gag and not annoying. There we go. Cool. Now you can't see the fan cable line, can you, Russ? Man, this is a good song, too. What is this? Is this you guys? Nope. Devil Wears Prada. <laughs> Uh oh, I hear a pitter patter. Maybe the uh, the wife might make an appearance. Let's see. All right. All right. Look at this. Look at. Can you guys see this? Look at this RGB lineup. RGB, 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 RGB. Memories RGB. Scan. You're so cute when you said you didn't want RGB. <laughs> All right, last piece. After uh, well, after after this, we got to do cable and wire management. Um, but graphics card time, and so this is a two-slot scan. You've got, um, as we discussed, three Display Ports and two HDMI, so you won't need any splitters. However, you slice this one, uh, you should be good to go. So let's see if we can get this in here. We got to take out. At least one more slot, maybe two. Uh, here, let's. We got the peel. Well, I got to get this right on camera. Which, which, what's best? Here? Or here? No, here. This is probably the best for the peel. Is that called wrap all the way around? No. It's right here. There we go. There's the peel. Yeah. Oh, don't get stuck. Yo. Did my comments freeze up? Am I, am I live still? The YouTube stream is like buffering. Are we good? Th uh, thumbs up in chat if you can still hear me, please. Because the, the YouTube preview says we're not live anymore, but OBS says we are. I don't know who's lying. Oh, thanks, Larson. I don't, yeah, thank you. Well, I, I don't need a preview. Just want to make sure you guys can still hear me. <laughs> Talking into the void. I've done that more than once. There's little peels on these fans, and if you forget to take them off, sometimes they can be the source of vibration, and you wonder why your brand new fancy ass graphics card sounds like a diesel truck on three cylinders. That's why. Okay, moment of truth fish because I still got a oh that Ooh, this thing is fancy metal shroud sh <laughs> that's crazy okay so oh boy oh, oh boy oh, oh no oh, eh. okay let's at least oh boy don't tell me I gotta take out that fan that's gonna suck okay, come on we can do this I just want to line up the nerdy so I know if I have to take off that PCI cover, and I do. Man, it's going to be a Jenga situation.
Let's get the slot cover out. Well, much better. All right. Now, oh, wish me luck, guys. I'm going to wave at the, the light because I don't want to lose the light while I'm finagling this in. <laughs> Tetris says you can do it. All right. Oh, I need my assistance to dab my forehead. Okay. We got a. What's the best way to. Because when I test fit it, I didn't have these face fans in. So, worst case scenario, I got to take one or two of these fans out again. If I can. Okay, there you go. Oh, I'm fighting myself. That cover has got to come off. That would help. Get out of your own way, Adam. It's got one of those PCI brackety deals. There we go. Hey, look at that. It's good now. <laughs> I know how to do it, computer. Oh, ho, 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 ho. She clicked. <laughs> okay. Wow. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Here, I got to lift this thing up. This is probably the best angle. Look at the clearance between the ass end of the graphics card and that fan. I can't even get a pinky in there, I bet. <laughs> yep. Measured it. <laughs> All right. Let's get some screws in this thing. Um, well, we'll, oh, do I have any ports I need to plug in? Now that I look at that, USB 3, I'm good. SATA is kind of rough. Let me plug in some SATA cables right now in case I need to bump that video card. Just a scotch. Where did I put Where's the SATA cables this thing came with? There they Touring is rough, I imagine. That's got to be, and then, I can't imagine touring with little ones, like, or having little ones while you're touring. That's got to be something else. Okay. Uh, we're going to route these out the back. to go on the bottom like a good little boy. Mm. I don't like that. Be down one SATA port. There we go. Good. The rest of those don't matter, but we'll deal with them later. Now, screws for the video card. Um, Scan, for when we ship this, I think I'm going to see we've got this gap here and this gap here. I, I have an idea to... Um, since this case is so small, uh, one of those standard expandy foam bags really won't get us anywhere since we have two distinct cavities. So my thought was I would custom 3D print some brackets that would go in here. And then uh, you just remove them when it gets to your house. Um, and that, that's what I was thinking there. Let me know if anybody else has any better ideas. Uh, you tell me you got one more of those screws, don't we need... Big Daddy screw. That's not what I want. How do you just have one? <sighs> it looks like it's coarse thread. Yep. Nope. 
I'm going to dip into my reserve. I don't like those screws. Excuse me. There we go. Gotta have matching screws. They look like some sort of asshole who doesn't know how to build a computer. And much better. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so scan, like I said, we've got one open 16 slot for IO and we've got plenty of room to, to grow on this thing. If we need to throw some more oomph at it. Now it's time to cables, all the cables, really a rubber band. Okay. Oh, and PCI. One more, one more thing. Got the USB. PCI bracket. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in at the bottom. Just so we have a nice assortment of USB everywhere. Here, here, and here. Can't escape the USB stand. Styrofoam peanut. Bro. <laughs> Bro, who built... Who hurt you building a computer for you? Jesus. For those that don't know, styrofoam peanuts will generate uh, static electricity, like, a lot. <laughs> and zap your old shit. And then you boot it up. That's the fun part about static electricity. It doesn't usually kill it completely. Something just kind of breaks. And then you have fun problems like your audio either doesn't work or sounds like shit. <laughs> JUSB 1 and 2. And if I remember correctly, that's positive. We might have to look that up. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, there's a nice little zip tie point down there for that. Okay. Got our extra USB ports in. Let's do our case USB ports. USB 3. Can you do this one? Yeah. USB 3. And scan, like I said, if you ever have the need, you've got a USB Type C header on your motherboard. So you can just buy a bracket if you ever need it. We can do it that way. I don't know. I'm not sure, sure so sure what arcade product would ever need USB C internal, but hey, it's there, right? USB. And alternate USB. Where's the other one? There it is. Go. Now, didn't I say I was going to do the audio even though no one ever uses it? Yep, there it is. J Audio. Why is everything J on this board? Japanese? MSI? Yeah, they're Japanese, I guess. <clears throat> okay, where's all of our power on switch drama? Here it is. JFP1, are you going to tell me what power reset and hard drive LED that no one uses is? <laughs> nope. Come on, man. Oh, wait, there it is. Uh, JFP1, power LED positive is top left. Power LED. You don't need no stinking manuals around here. Hey, 
Hey, Eric, what's happening? Thanks for the uh, super chat. For the Arcade Adam switch camera fun? For the what? Switch switch camera to what? Do I need a better camera? You want me to get a real boy camera? You're tired of, are you saying you're tired of iPhones and webcams on this channel? Oh my god. <laughs> In the computer. <sighs> You'd probably be done by now if uh, I didn't have to keep waving at my lights. <laughs> okay, got that one. Hard drive LED is bottom left. Okay, we definitely have that. That's okay. Surprising. Oh, and then reset switch. I said I was going to maybe move the reset. Does this thing support? Uh, oh, shit, Scan, Look at this. It comes with a remote. <laughs> Who's fancier than you? Hey, Ryan got a super chat, too, with a little kitty. Too bad I'm allergic. <laughs> Don't... New oh a new light switch okay thanks guys yeah I'll put in I'll get a home kit light switch so everybody can be hey Siri and then turn the lights off okay shut up I wasn't talking to you they they're not supposed to know you're there quiet okay which room basement office master bedroom outdoor front lights hey Siri everywhere. shut up I will not then. We're talking back now? Damn, I was 17. Big upgrades. Uh, that's oh, motherboard sync. <gasps> that means we can output. Ooh, scan. We got options, man. We got we got a remote. We can have it tied into the motherboard, but we don't have the option for a button like I thought. Okay, whatever. We'll make it an actual reset switch. Look at us, 2023. Reset and power, polarity don't matter. What does matter is tiny hands and fingers. Getting that in there. There we go. Come on, one more. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Okay. Now we just need 24 pin power. 8-pin CPU, and a shitload of wire management. Um, can you guys see? You're going to be bored if I... Well, I need to just work on it. Just give me a minute. Or maybe I can... Uh, no, I need, I need to keep flipping it around. Never mind. Okay, so all this stuff... Can pull this back gently. Excess cable, excess cable. We've got... Fans, one, two, three, four. That's a SATA cable. <laughs> so we got one, two, three. Where's our, there we go. There's our fourth fan. So, doesn't matter. Hmm, that's a weird clippy. I'm not sure I like how that clips in there. Ooh, who's this? I like this. That's a good guitar riff. Oh, sorry, Stan. Not you again. For today, Saul of Soros. Who's that? The Messenger. Not sure which of that was the title of the band. Real, real PC builders. <laughs> Use a real camera? Okay, fine. I want to get that uh, that Volvo camera. He was talking about that Sony ZV-F1 or whatever the hell the model number is. That, 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 I looked that up. That thing's like a grand or two. All right. This thing needs power. Under a 24 pin. Uh, that's right up here. 
And then we need a CPU power, or I mean GPU power. That's this guy. Uh, if I can see. Do we have a GPU? Oh, what the hell is that? We don't have it. Oh, we can route it up through here. That'll look pretty. If you can do it, do it pretty. Oh my god. I'm just going to put on like one of those headlamps so you can just see like a flashlight. You can see what I'm looking at. Come on. It's so fucking pitch black in here when that happens. Okay. A canyon? There we go. Shove this in here. I'll make it look cute. Yeah, that's fans. I don't want to do that. Oh, maybe over here. Oh, yeah. Much better. Add in there. Cool. Got to make it look cool. Yep. Table management. Take it seriously. It's not just for airflow. Okay, now we need our SATA. Can you have any SATA on it? Damn. Should have bought a nicer power supply. No matter, it just means we'll have to do more cable management because we're going to route, I just made the executive decision, we're going to use this to hide our cables and then we're going to route um, this SATA power connector, which I just noticed only has three on it, and we're going to have at least, oh, never mind, kick ass, there's two. Now we got six. Excellent. We can make this work. I thought I ran out of SATA power, but we're good. Scan, we're good. All good. Only other thing I think I need to plug in. On this side is I didn't do the CPU fan yet, but I think that has a pass through, doesn't it? I might be able to get real fancy with that. Hold on. Sorry, I'm ignoring comments. Play as they sleep hollow. Heck yeah. Come on. Well, that's on Black in the Sun, too, so it might be good. Let's turn it up a stretch. There we go. What else did I miss? <clears throat> swap cam, real PC dealer swap cam. <laughs> Just, oh, so, wait a minute. What do you mean swap? Like, make this the... You, you're talking about making this, this view bigger? You're talking about like that? Is that more interesting? Just want the top down to be the main... Okay, sorry. Yeah, I didn't understand that either. Um, This is a shitty webcam, so I'm not going to make it any bigger than that. But it kind of works how it is, right? Uh, what else we got here? Take a moment on how long it takes you to understand. Yeah. <laughs> Safe bet, Eric. 
Need a closer camera on those silky smooth hand. Oh, here, sorry. Here you go. Well, see, it's, look, crappy blown out white balance webcam is crappy blown out white. Here. <laughs> oh, um, I'll redo the specs real quick as I'm taking a water break. So we got a 12600K uh, DDR4 B660M motherboard with 32 gigs of uh, RGB Corsair Vengeance. Um, I don't remember the speed, but it's fast. 3600 probably. Yeah, it's a good shit. Um, a really tight timings too, if I remember right. Intel XMP profile number one. Uh, we're doing a 3060 Ti Asus Tough OC, 12 gigs of VRAM. Um, what else? 32 gig, 12600K, B660M motherboard. It's got Wi-Fi, uh, and all the Omega X drives you need to get it done. Oop. Open the water bottle. <clears throat> got a ton of corn set up. Got a corn. Oh, corn. <laughs> got it. Wow, my, it must have been a long day. I'm a little slow tonight. <laughs> Hopefully, I didn't do nothing wrong in here. Don't worry, scan. We'll make it right. All right, RGB the thing, and then we should be good. Uh, where did I put that cable? There it is. So we've got, yeah, this will this will totally work the way I think it will. I think because <laughs> the um, the CPU cooler has RGB pass through, and then I'm gonna plug it into the header on the motherboard. I'm trying not to pinch these cables while I'm doing it. If I can uncable manage the CPU RGB fan. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. It's also one of those things where these, these crappy RGB, it's like the industry standard, but they're just, they all they do is come apart. It's like they're designed to come apart. So I like to hot glue them or do something to that effect. Uh, and then they note the positive. So five volts, just make sure that lines up. So we'll see what we're doing here is we're tying, this goes to the RGB hub, and then this will go to the mail pins on the motherboard. Right there, that's five volts. Can't screw this up. Five volts. Yeah, buddy, here we go. You know, just need to find a wicked long HDMI. And put it into that monitor right behind me. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna before I forget. Ah, those stupid connectors. We're gonna warm up the hot glue. Nope. But like the good way. There we go. I just like to put a little hot glue on that because it's like destined to come apart. There we go. Do the manage. Oh, I don't like that. Never mind. I'm gonna go above. Above and around the rim. All right, sorry, I've been ignoring the comment. So, Eric, is that better? Perfect now. Cool. All right. <laughs> sorry. I, Like I said, I set this up five minutes before I went live, and we lost our music again. Well, that's fine for a sec. Kids know what's up. Yep. Um, we got labeling on our SSDs now. Ooh. SSDs look super old, so I had to change things. <laughs> it's funny how the kids are just like, Dad, you're doing it wrong. They know. They know. And some somewhere, somehow down the line, we get out of touch, right? That's how that happened. Um black me back. No, we don't need to do that. Let's see. That, that, wait for that to heat up. Um uh, let's go ahead and throw a SSD in here and grab some zip ties. We're almost there, guys. Where am I at? Oh man, at two hours? I said this was gonna take an hour and a half. I'm running late! It's damn light. Somewhere, don't I? Oh, yeah, here we go. The 
get some music back in here. <laughs> really, Ryobi, like, I should be playing the Home Depot music. Isn't that a house brand for them now or something? <laughs> uh, where's that play it? Mix as they sleep. Play all. Where's that shuffle at? Let's do that one. It doesn't have red on it. There we go. Okay. It's going to be a thick boy. Don't be afraid to double up your zip ties. Thirteen and twenty a stream. What's that mean? Averaging thirteen. Hope this keeps growing. Oh, yeah, my audience. Yeah, I'm less concerned about that. I'll do this for you guys. But yeah, I, I wouldn't mind. Now, who wouldn't mind a larger audience, of course, but that's uh, not the primary. Oh, put sick. They put adhesive back here, so I can just uh, do that. Not the primary reason I do this. I do this for me and for you, for fun. Funsies. There we go. Get that. Uh, oh, yeah, I can get that as a tie. To... Nice. And across. And you, can of, you can kind of see that. Sorry, this might be boring as I, as I uh, table manage. Oh, I can lay it flat. I because I'm done. Yep. So, so what we'll do with this monstrosity. I'm gonna unplug this for now. Don't let me forget to plug the fan controller back in. There we go. And all of this will get nicely routed underneath there. And I'm pretty sure because the side panel has this Quasimodo hump on it, that'll fit right there. Let's test that theory. What are we doing here? This bundle of cables is a little concerning. That's thick. Oh, hot glue gun's running. Oh no, we're good. Let me do some. Yep, that's how we're gonna do that. I can smell it. RGB. Let's code it. There we go. Not going anywhere for a while. Grab some hot snot. Yep. He did. Gotta let that cool before I move it. Oh, let's check on these comments and wave at the light. Oh, we got a labeling. Kids know what's up. Ryobi should be a sponsor. Uh, do I make servo stick oval rubber covers? Limited in color selection. Rubber. Um, I can print TPU. I don't know if that's a good material for what you're trying to do. Uh, trying to find out my options are for turning the black tops into a bunch of fun colors. I can do tons of colors. That's not the issue. But why is it rubber? Where where does that go? So 
servo stick oval rubber tires. So that would be, why would they do, because all, all of my um, dust covers are plastic. Do they have to be rubber? <laughs> Larson, I'm sorry, I didn't see you to tell me to switch the cameras. I, I didn't, you, I think you, oh, now that I remember, you did say s switch cameras, and I think I just went like, what the hell is he talking about? I don't have a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> okay. Um, how's this doing? Yep, I didn't go anywhere. All right, the goal is to get this on this removable SSD panel with this adhesive. So we can re just remove the SSD panel and not deal with the adhesive. So we do one of these. Get it nice and straight. There we go. And then we just have to deal with extra cables that we tuck underneath here. And we'll also use some zip ties. There we go. That's much better. Look at that. Kind of looks like I've done this before. Undo this. Boozing? Oh, I can't drink and build. That's not a good idea. And the fun part is you get to come in here with the cutters after you get it all managed and get all the porcupines off. part. The trick is don't cut the wires you just managed. Okay, one more. Pretty nice, eh? Now we need this guy and where'd our SATA cable go? There it is. Can I use an angled one on this one though? Let's see. It might be a stretch. Yep, can't do that. Gotta add another one. That'll be for a hard drive.
There we go. There's our new data cable. Just like that. Scan, I'm just temporarily mounting this. Because um, like you said, we probably want the drives outside for easy uh, upgradability. So I'm just going to put one or two screws in this for now. Because I'll move them on the outside before I ship it. Any questions? Look at that, buddy. <laughs> right on cue. What, the, the Haku gun should be hot enough to infrared that thing, right? Come on. Okay, so with cable managed, um, I'm just going to use the boot drive. I've got the data drive, but like I said, Scan's going to mount this on the outside, so I'm not going to bother with that because we can get into Windows with just this. Technically, we're all set. And for good luck, you don't put any side panels on until it boots. So let me see if I still have my HDMI cable plugged into this thing. Oh, look at that. I do. Oh, it's just kind of... Yeah. <laughs> it's over here. <laughs> Let's see. Do I have a long HDMI? Oh, that's display port. Got like a mile long display port. Okay, let's do display port. I think that monitor's got display port. Look at this monster. It's got standby power, so. Nope, just HDMI, of course. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have a portable monitor over there. I forgot about that one. <laughs> All right, guys, place your bets. Is this thing going to boot first? Try all the way, let, and let's quantify that as all the way into. Uh, oh shit, does this have some sort of goofy ass power? Damn, damn it. <laughs> it's got some sort of goofy ass power thing that I gotta find. Oh, I'm kicking cameras. Damn it. Okay, monitor there. Oh wow, that is. That's a special monitor. Do I know where that. Oh, hi. Uh, do I know where that power cable would be? Definitely not sitting next to it, son of a bitch. Be right back. Take that over here.
Failure. Hold on. Let me find the long HDMI. I want you guys to see this thing post. What's this? This HDMI? Holy cow! <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna do no 4K, but this is some relic old HDMI cable. Look at this guy's, boy. <laughs> this thing, boys. Look at this. <laughs> that's that's a snake. That's an anaconda of an HDMI cable. Let's see if this works. Um. This one. I'm like strain relief that thing. Okay. We're almost there, boys. Are you guys placing bets on working first try? I don't know which HDMI that is, but we'll try it. I'm going to guess HDMI 2. Then we need PC power cable. Yeah, it does look like a garden hose. It's um, a little concerning in terms of stress. <laughs> okay, power supply is on. We'll turn that off. There's no surprises. And then what side? Oh, we got to flip this thing around so you guys can see that. And I gotta take that monitor out of the way. Flip it around. HDMI A. Silly monitor gone. I'll just look down here for now. Power cable going in. This is it. Any last uh, requests? Here we go. No sparky, no sparky. Power cable's in. Power supply is on. Here we go. Cross your fingers. Oh, something in the fan. Other than that, she purdy. What do we got here? Posty Maloney. HDMI 2, no signal. Oh, I forgot to plug in the. Oh, oh, oh. Hey! she posted who bet against me <laughs> I want to know oh wait oh yeah it does the memory training thing <laughs> it scared me for a second um, but yeah we I don't have a keyboard on it or nothing uh, can I solve that too I'm trying to solve problems all over the place I got one of these um, shitty arcade keyboards does it still have the nah, no, someone didn't put the receiver back where it should be of course But she's a beaut, Clark. Let me admire this thing from the front. Hey, now it's time to turn the damn lights off, you stupid son of a bitch. Oh, look at all the fake. The case fans are all synced. Hey, hey, it went all the way into. Can you guys see that monitor? Can you guys see the monitor at all? Of course not. But it's all the way in to Omega X. Can you? There, you can see that uh, over here. <laughs> And we're just going to overlay it, bring to front. Look, that's, that's Omega X. It, big box is like, yo, where's your license scan? <laughs> and then, yeah, let, uh, let's go back to RGB. You guys can see the RG. There you go. Look, oh, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Look at all the RGBness. Look at all the RGBness. Come on, Scan. How do you not? The only thing we got to figure out is why is the CPU fan not synced to everything else? Because I think it should be. The way I set it up. Oh, let's see if the remote works. Yoink. Uh, off. <laughs> I wish I could plug the CPU fan into the controller so you could do it globally. But so here's on. Oh yeah, look, your RGB memory is going full puke mode too. Rainbow. That see, perfect scan. We've got your Pride PC right here. 
<laughs> you wanted RGB buttons? Well, now you got an RGB case to go with your RGB buttons. <laughs> Oh, no, that'll look really sick with the front panel on. Let's do that. We got a top and a bottom here. Yep. Yeah, but, oh, that does look nice. Look at that. Look at that. And I'm going to leave the peel on maybe for scan, for shipping, but we can at least see what the, uh, the smoke in a pancake panel looks like. Just a minute. Yeah, Where, where's them screws at? There they are. Thumb screw in there. Yeah. <laughs> Good scan. I'm glad you like it. Like I said, you can always turn the RGB off if it's not your jam. Here we go. We got the remote right here. We can go red. We still got to do something about that memory in there. Oh, look at this thing. This thing's. We got blue, green, purple. Damn. And then um, I think it's got, yeah, it's got auto. So I think it cycles. Yep. Speed. Make it kind of spaz. All right. Now, where's the fucking light at? I'm turning it off. <laughs> Ooh, looks crispy in the dark. Kicking stuff. <laughs> if I fall down, you guys will call my wife to come pick me up off the floor, right? There you go. <laughs> Ooh, even get lights through the top. Sick. All right, guys. That's the stream. I just wanted to do the build, get it into Omega X. And if you got any questions, let me go turn the lights on and think about that. Oh, my God. Oh, this is treacherous. I can't see it. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Boy, did I make a mess. Let's see in the comments. She's a beaut. I think so, too. What do you mean the lights aren't qu twinkling, Clark? They're more than twinkling. No, they're dancing. <laughs> oh, boy. Boy, do I know how to make a mess. Oh, we can install your little Wi-Fi nernies. Got the antennas. Yeah, you're, you're right, Ryan. Nothing beats a new rig. Fresh. And uh, I'm happy to report that I didn't do a damn thing for drivers. And this sucker's coming up 1080p, so that means I imagine some kind of NVIDIA driver's working, so that's sick. Oh, that makes sense. I have a 3060 Ti in my build. <laughs> Again, scans universe, universal luck just lines up. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, Omega X is developed on an i9-9900K and a 3060 Ti, boys. Yeah, this was actually a little less than a G, uh, Andy. So that was that was the target. But, yeah, did that on purpose. Oh, I put the antennas in. Did you get Wi-Fi? I don't have a keyboard to try, but, you know. All right, let's turn this. Music off for a second to wrap things up here. Guys, if you got any last minute questions, let me know. Um, but otherwise, uh, the only th other things I got to do to this is, like I said, we're going to route the SATA and SATA power cables out the back because uh, Scan's going to mount his drives externally, just like you know everybody else does in a Megacade. Um, that probably includes the SSD because it would be annoying to have to like either take this side panel off while you're in the Megacade or take this whole thing out of the Megacade. That's what we're trying to avoid with that. Uh, but other than that, so what I'll probably end up doing is there's another PCI cover back here. I'll probably run the, if I can fit them in this hole right here, I don't think you can see that. There's a little hole right here. 
or some other way, and I'll route the SATA cables out the back. Uh, or I could even drill a hole in the side panel. Nah, that would look nasty. I probably avoid doing that. We'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, I think it came out good. Just gotta do some testing, do some driver updates, plug in all the drives, and make sure that happens. And uh, box her up and send her to scan. And like I said, I'm gonna 3D print the GPU bracket on this side to keep for shipping because there's a void here and down there to you know how ups likes to roll oh and i forgot to plug in your speaker i gotta plug that in too little things but that's it guys i know it was a long one i meant it to be an hour, an hour and a half and i went over by 45 minutes which is typical you know if i say that you always expect around double for my time estimates and spot on <laughs> Thanks for the super chats, guys. Uh, Eric, Ryan, uh, that was awesome. Um, <laughs> quite, <laughs> I must say this is quite a finale. <laughs> no problem, Scan. I, I'm glad you like it. I, I think, you know, like we were talking about, the RGB was the way to go because you can always just off. And then I'll show you the, where the software is to turn the other stuff off if you really care. <laughs> but, yeah, it was fun. Fun hanging out. Uh, appreciate you guys coming in to chat. Asking questions, doing the thing, like, subscribe, super chats, Eric and Ryan, it's fantastic. I will try to pay attention next time as to the um, different camera situation because it'll be different again. But anyway, it was a fun one. Peace, guys. <laughs>